Hi, I'm Jack Stacey and this is the latest camp update. Yeah, so so far it's been it's been good, you know, it's been tough as, as expected in pre-season, but yeah, it has been really intense so far. I think the way that the Gaffer wants to play, he wants to play high pressing, um, real dynamic team. So uh, as a fullback, um, there's a, a, a huge requirement of us to, to get up and down and to press, but you know, I, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm enjoying it, but I think it suits me. Yeah. It's been a very good level, but I think most of the players have come back really fit. Um, I think Louis Kelly looks very good out there. Um, he's just a complete animal. You know, if we do anything in the gym or power or running or whatever it is, he seems to be near the top. So yeah, I'd say Lloyd. Um, get a little bit of downtime in the afternoon before we go again for training. So, you know, a few of the lads have been by the pool um, playing cards, but, you know, most important is getting the fitness work in and being ready for the season. This morning, I, I don't know what, I don't know, it was 30 plus degrees. Um, we've played like 11 v 11 in training um, and obviously done stuff before that tactical work as well. So, yeah, it, it was quite tough and, and finished with runs as well, so, which I'm sure um, now we've put up on the website. So, yeah, it's been a tough day. I tell you what, I think fullbacks are in at the moment. I mean, we nearly took four to the Euros, so I think everyone wants to be um, everyone wants to be Carl Walker these days. Maybe not Gary Neville, but yeah. I, to be fair, I've I've taken the same journey as every fullback, where you either start a centre back and get pushed out, or you start wide and get pushed back. So I, I was started wide, get pushed back, but yeah, it seems to suit me. So here I am. There's a, a good group of us now. I mean, we've got a little um, card school going um, when we do get some time off. So it's probably me. Brooksy, Ben Pearson, Sam Surridge. Um, the card game, I think so far I've been hustled because Brooksy's basically played it away um, when he was at Wales. Uh, it's called Nominations. Um, and yeah, he seems to be winning every game so far, but I think I'm going to pick it up soon. We've got a good group of us, but I think as a, as a whole group, it's been nice to, to get away and, and really bond and get to know some players that you didn't know as well and, and some of the younger players too who are, who are doing really well. In the old times, we're talking about everything really, I think. Yesterday, the topic of discussion was obviously the Euros. Um, there was a few that, you know, wanted England to win, and a few that didn't. So there was, a, there was a, um, yeah, mixed debates between them, and obviously everyone's everyone's an expert after the after the whistle. So um, yeah, a few few football debates. But apart from that, it's a few um, a couple talking about Love Island. I haven't actually managed to get a VPN yet, so I'm, I'm trying to get that sorted. But um, there's a few that have done that. So yeah, Love Island football, the usual really. The best chat. I'd say Ben Pearson, yeah, he's, he's um, deceiving actually. He, he can talk to you about a really wide range of topics. So yeah, me and him talk about a lot about like Joe Rogan podcast or Elon Musk. So yeah, we have a, we have a um, range of debates actually. Yeah, so I know I'm in my fifth year out of six now for the degree. It's a business and economics degree um, just for the Open University. Um, so it's all online and it's just something that I started when I was younger. It's something that, that I enjoy away from the pitch as well. Um, takes my mind of football, but we have assignments due every month for every two months and I had one due on the Monday after the Chelsea game. Um, so I was doing it in the hotel before um, and then obviously we, we win one nil. Everyone was up for a celebration, just went for a little dinner in, in London and you know, two hours after we'd played at Stamford Bridge in front of, I don't know, 50, 55,000 people, I was sat back at home in my office writing an assignment. So yeah, that was, that was one way to celebrate. I love just, you know, the, the board level stuff and the finances behind football and um, Hopefully I can have a little chat with Frano about obviously his new role, that, that's something that really intrigues me. So um, yeah, obviously still a long way to go in my career hopefully, but it's something that, that I do enjoy, that side of things.